Then towards the end of the fourth week, that was when things started to change. Um, and I just couldn't continue with the diet anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go through the deeper reasons as to why I had to quit the carnivore diet after just one month of trying it. Um, the goal at the end of the day was always just to try it for a month and see what happens, but by the end of the month, I just decided I had to, to, to stop and go back to my normal diet. And so I'm gonna go through those reasons specifically in this video. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's dive straight into it. Cause I've been thinking about what I wanna do Cause I never ever thought it through Now I ask myself why Why didn't I So overall on the carnivore diet, I really enjoyed the experience of trying it. The first week or so was a bit difficult with um, you obviously, you typically do get a bit of irregular bowel movements, you get diarrhea, things like that. Um, and I was obviously adapting to use, utilizing fat as my main source of energy. So um, that was quite difficult. But after that first week, the second week, I felt really good. I felt really strong. I was feeling really strong in the gym, um, building a lot of muscle, what I felt like and losing fat at the same time. So I was really happy and I was really enjoying the diet. I was sleeping well, according to my whoop band, which I've now got that's measuring my sleep and recovery scores. Um, I'll leave a link to, you can try it for free with a link in, in my bio just down there if you're looking to, to monitor your health and fitness and sleep and things like that. Um, but yeah, overall over that first two weeks or so, I was feeling really good. Then going into the third week as well, I was still feeling really strong. I wasn't really, I was missing the variation of foods but I wasn't like desperate to eat something sweet or anything like that because I was still eating fruit and honey in my diet as well. So I was kind of well covered. It was a bit weird sitting down to eat your, your dinner and just having just a pile of meat on your plate as opposed to all the different variation. But I really love meat anyway. So I was really enjoying it. I was really enjoying making minced beef burgers, eating steaks, chicken, things like that. Um, so I was kind of thinking that I was going to continue with the diet, to be honest, going forward because I was feeling like I was getting really ripped in the gym, really chiseled, and I was really enjoying it, feeling like my energy levels were high. Um, so I was thinking, let's carry it on, see if, you know, over the next month or so, it goes on to another level. And I really feel those superhuman benefits that I was looking for from trying the carnival diet. Then towards the end of the fourth week, that was when things started to change. Um, and I just couldn't continue with the diet anymore, basically. And that was all down to my bowel movements. So not a fun topic to talk about, but my stools were getting increasingly uh, hard and painful to pass. And that led to me developing hemorrhoids for the first time. It's not even a fun word to say, it's not really fun to talk about, but I developed it for the first time just at the end of the carnivore diet. And so that was the big reason for me that tipped me over the edge that made me think, right, I've, I've tried it for a month. Let's just get some fiber in my diet because I was looking how to get rid of them, how to you know heal from hemorrhoids and stuff. And all the advice was to eat more fiber to soften your stools because essentially if your, your stools are getting too hard and you're getting constipated, um, I didn't necessarily feel like I was constipated, but I wasn't, on the carnival diet, you don't go as much as you do when you're eating loads of vegetables because there's not as much fiber. So I wasn't going as much, so maybe, you know, I could have been backed up or I don't know what it was, but I basically developed hemorrhoids for the first time in my life. I don't really want to talk about it much more. Um, and so I thought that it's going to be best if I just go back to my normal diet because I was trying the carnival diet with my girlfriend as well and she was really missing the variation. She wasn't adapting to... Uh, the fats as much as I was so my body was really good and efficient at running off fats so, like I felt really strong in the gym whereas she was feeling tired and lethargic and I think she really missed the carbs so she was going to go anyway and so I was a bit 50-50 but basically when I got this issue I thought no I'm not doing this anymore let's go back get some fiber in my diet um, and hopefully they clear up which over the last couple of days they have pretty much from going back to my old diet so um, yeah, I have researched since and I probably wasn't eating enough fats because when you're on a carnivore diet, the more fats you eat, it softens your stools. 
Um, so I do think that maybe I could have fixed it by just eating more fat. Um, but at that stage, I was kind of panicking and I just wanted to, to get rid of them because I'd never had them before, never had to suffer with that. So I just wanted to get rid of it. And so it came at a right time where I tried it for a month. I'd felt some of the benefits, felt good, felt like I could do it again, but I wasn't massively keen to continue from there. So that was the turning point and the tipping point really in deciding to quit the carnival diet after a month and go back to my normal diet. So there you have it. I've gone back to my normal diet. That's not to say that I might try carnivore again going forward because I, I am really interested in the science behind it and how good it is for autoimmune conditions like mine, my MS. Um, so I really would want to try it again. Maybe in the future I'll do it more strict with mainly just eating red meats uh, and fats and maybe some eggs because this time around I was eating a whole range of meats and also fruits and honey like I mentioned. So, but it's given me the confidence that I know that I can do it now because I know how to enjoy just eating minced beef. I can cook it in different ways and, you know, enjoying steaks, things like that. So it's given me the confidence to, to try it again, but I just had to fix this issue first um, and get some variation again in my diet and see where I'm at. And who knows, in a couple of months time, I might try it again. Or if not, I'll probably try it again next January, January for World Carnivore Month maybe I'll go super strict then. So yeah, that's why I had to quit the carnivore diet. Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. If you've got any tips, um, because I also did a lot of Googling around hemorrhoids on a carnivore diet and I couldn't really see anything to be honest. The only things I could see was that carnivore diet cures hemorrhoids. So it seemed quite odd that I developed them during that diet. So who knows, maybe it was just a coincidence, uh, maybe it was some other factor, or maybe it was because of the lack of fat, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are and if you've got any tips or pointers, do let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be sharing another video uh, in, over the next couple of days about my whoop band that I mentioned earlier on because that's something that's really benefited my health recently because I've been able to monitor my sleep and my exercise and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to tune in for the next video and I'll see you over there. Cause I've been thinking about what